Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a plus b, this is equal to 1, let's call this equation 1, and a squared plus b squared, this is equal to 2, let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11? Now, let's provide a solution from here. Now, from equation 1, which is a plus b equal to 1, let's square on both sides so that if we expand this equation here, we have a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 plus 2 times a b. This is equal to 1 squared, which is 1. We have that a squared plus b squared. This is what we have in equation 2, which is equal to 2. So let's substitute 2 here, then plus 2 times AB. This is equal to 1. Let's take 2 on the right-hand side. So we have 2AB. This is equal to, now here we have 1 minus 2. And this means we have 2AB. This is equal to 1 minus 2. And this is equal to minus 1. Let's divide both sides by 2, and this implies that a times b, this is equal to minus 1 over 2. Let's call this equation 3. Now, the next step is that from equation 1, which is a plus b equal to 1, let's list the power of 3 on both sides, so that now, a plus b to the power of 3, this is the same thing as a to the power of 3, plus b to the power of 3, then plus 3 times a, b, into the parentheses, this is a plus b, which is equal to 1 to the power of 3, this is 1. Now, we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, then plus 3 multiplying by a times b. a times b is what we have in equation 3, which is minus half. So we have minus half multiplying by a plus b. a plus b is equation 1, which is 1. a plus b is 1. So let's substitute 1. So multiplying by 1, this is equal to 1. So this is a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, then 3 times minus a half times 1, this is minus 3 over 2, this is equal to 1. Let's take minus 3 over 2 on the right hand side, so that we have a to the power of 3, plus b to the power of 3, this is equal to 1, plus 3 over 2. Now we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. This is 1 plus 3 over 2. And this means that a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. This is equal to 5 over 2. Let's call this equation 4. Equation 4. So the next step, the next step from here. Let's multiply equation 2 with equation 4. Equation 2, in this case, remember equation 2 is a squared plus b squared, which is equal to 2. And we have equation 4. We have equation 4 here. So we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 multiplied by a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2. This is equal to 5 over 2 multiplied by 2. So 2 and 2 here simplifies, then what we have here is a to the power of 3 times, we have a to the power of 3 times a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2, then plus b to the power of 3 multiplied by a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2, this is equal to 5. So this is a to the power of a to the power of 3 times a to the power of 2, this is a to the power of 5, then plus a to the power of 3, b to the power of 3, then plus 
b to the power of 3, a to the power of 2, then plus b to the power of 5, this is equal to 5. The next step is that we have a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5, then plus, now, we have a to the power of 3, b to the power of 3, and b to the power of 3, a to the power of 2. So we have that a to the power of 2 and b to the power of 2 is common here, so that we can factor out this, so that we have a plus b, this is equal to 5. So this is a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5, then plus, we can express a square and b square as a, b raised to the power of 2, then times a plus b, this is equal to 5. So this is a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5, then plus a times b, this is what you have in equation 3, which is minus a half, this is raised to the power of 2, times a plus b, this is equation 1, which is 1, then this is equal to 5. So this is a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5. Now this is plus a, minus a half to the power of 2. This is 1 over 4 times 1. This is 1 over 4. This is equal to 5. Let's take plus 1 over 4 on the right hand side. This means a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5. This is equal to 5 minus 1 over 4. Now 5 is our number, so this is over 1. We have the FCM is 4. 4 divided by 1, this is 4. 4 times 5, this is 20. Subtract 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1, this is 1. So this is equal to 20 minus 1. This is 19 over 4. So we have that a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5. This is equal to 19 over 4. Let's call this equation 5. Now this is our equation 5a. Now from equation 4, which is a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. This is equal to 5 over 2. So let's square on both sides from here. So that now, this means we have a to the power of 3, raised to the power of 2, then plus b to the power of 3, raised to the power of 2, then plus 2 times a to the power of 3, multiplied by b to the power of 3. This is equal to 5 over 2 to the power of 2. This is 25 divided by 4. So this means that a to the power of 3 to the power of 2, remember this is in the form of a to the power of n, this to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. So this means that we have a to the power of 6, then plus b to the power of 6, then plus. Now, we can express 2 a to the power of 3, b to the power of 3 as 2, multiplied by a, b, the power of 3, this is equal to 25 over 4. We have a, b from equation 3, so that we can substitute a. This is a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 plus 2, multiplied by minus a half, raised to the power of 3. This is equal to 25 over 4. So this implies we have a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6. Let's open the parentheses here. So this is plus 2. This is minus a half to the power of 3. This is minus 1 over 8. Then this is equal to 25 over 4. So a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6. Then let's simplify here. 8 divided by 2. This is 4. So we have minus 1 over 4. This is equal to 25 over 4. The next step is to take minus 1 over 4 on the right hand side so that we have a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6. This is equal to 25 over 4 plus 1 over 
4. So let's the FCM here is 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 25. So this is 25 plus 4 divided by 4, which is 1 times 1, which is 1. And this is equal to 26 over 4. So this implies that A to the power of 6 plus B to the power of 6, this is equal to 26 over 4, which we can simplify here. 26 divided by 2, this is 13. 4 divided by 2, this is 2. So we have A to the power of 6 plus B to the power of 6, this is equal to 13 over 2. Let's call this equation 6. Now this is our equation 6a, so that the next step is to multiply equation 5. Let's multiply equation 5 with equation 6. Equation 5 is a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5. This is equal to 19 over 4. So let's multiply equation 5. This is equation 5 and equation 6. So this means we have a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5 multiplied by a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6. This is equal to, this is 13 over 2 multiplied by 19 over 4. Now, here we have a to the power of 5 multiplied by a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6, then plus b to the power of 5, multiplied by a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6. This is equal to, now, this is 13 times 19, which is 247, divided by 4 times 2, which is 8. Now, let's open the parentheses here. 8 to the power of 5 times 8 to the power of 6. Remember this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n plus m. Let's apply this property so that now we have a to the power of 5 times a to the power of 6. This is a to the power of 11, then plus a to the power of 5 multiplied by b to the power of 6 then plus this is b to the power of 5 b to the power of 5 times a to the power of 6 then plus b to the power of 5 times b to the power of 6 then this means we add the exponent this is 5 plus 6 this means we have b to the power of 11 and this is equal to 247 divided by 8 now, we have a to the power of 11 and b to the power of 11. So this is a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11. Then now plus this particular part a. This means that we have, we can factor out a to the power of 5 and b to the power of 5. This is common here. So that we have a plus b. Cross the parentheses. This is equal to 247 divided by 8. The next step is that from equation 1, which is a plus b. a plus b is equal to 1. We can substitute 1 here. So this is a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11. Then plus a to the power of 5 and b to the power of 5. This can be expressed as a, b raised to the power of 5. Then multiplying by 1. This is equal to 2. 47 divided by 8. So this means this is a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11, then plus a b. This is what we solved in equation 3. In this case, it's equal to minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of 5. This is equal to 2, 47 over 8. The next step is let's minus a half to the power of 5. This is the same thing as a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11 minus 1 over 
that's 2. This is equal to 247 over 8. The next step is to take minus 1 over that 2 on the right hand side. This becomes positive, so we have a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11. This is equal to 247 over 8 plus 1 over 32. Now here we have that the LCM here is equal to that 2. So that 2 divided by 8, this is 4. So we have 4 times 2, 147, then plus that's 2 divided by that 2 is 1 times 1. This is equal to 1. So we have a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11. This is equal to. Now, this is 247 times 4. And this is actually equal to 989. 988 plus 1 divided by that's 2. And this means that a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11, this is equal to 988 plus 1. This is 989 divided by 32. And this is actually equal to 30.90625. So we have that a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11. This is equal to 30.90625. This is the solution to this algebra math problem. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.